guys, Christian Philip Valentino. So glad that you found my page and my music. Um, this is a continuation of another video that I did where I was telling you the story of how I got started. And now right now I wanna tell you about the journey that I took while doing Ramel and Pan. Um, when I started Ramel and Pan in 2010 after my father had passed, I, I really didn't know what I was doing. Um, I, I really was very new to the idea of, you know, booking shows, getting my music out in front of people. Um, at the time, because I was struggling financially, even thinking about recording and how much that would cost. It was just a lot of things. And I tried not to take it too seriously at first. Um, and what ended up happening was slowly over time, I started writing more songs. And from there, I started getting some shows. I just started kind of sending emails out to different venues locally around in my area that I had lived. And um, I had a pretty good response, it seemed like. And so that's really how the journey started. I just started kind of playing these really small shows. There wasn't really anyone there. Um, but it was a way for me to at least get a little bit of experience to be able to be in front of a mic and in front of at least a couple people and in another room and just kind of learning all that. And so 2010 was kind of really just me kind of to learn. And I was tripping up a lot um, because I, I didn't really know what I was doing. And so eventually what happened was I ended up moving to St. Louis, Missouri. Um, at the time that my father had passed, I was living in Illinois in the Chicago suburbs area, um, which is where I'm originally from. And I moved to St. Louis, Missouri, because there was a church out there at the time that I had gotten really connected to and had made some new friends out there. And so that was kind of like the next step in my journey. And so I moved out to St. Louis about maybe six or seven months after my father had passed. And I started to try to just connect with the scene in the St. Louis area. And uh, during that time, I started writing a lot more songs. And I eventually ended up being able to save up the money to record my first album. And my first EP um, was recorded in Kansas City, Missouri, uh, with um, a studio called Bear Track Recording. And I did my first EP. So it was five songs. Uh, it was called A Prodigal's Tale. And I was really, really happy about being able to do that. So that was really cool. Um, from there, um, after I recorded the album, I basically looked at like that as an opportunity for me to be able to go out and really start trying to play way more shows and maybe even branch out a little bit just from the local area of St. Louis where I was at. So during this time, I started to book shows that were in, you know, a few towns over, and I started to kind of just get the word around about my new record. Um, it was a really great time. I met a lot of really great people during that uh, moment with that EP. Um, and as the years went by, uh, I eventually ended up moving again to Kansas City, Missouri. And in Kansas City, Missouri, I ended up uh, recording my uh, full-length record um, with Klaus Jamber at uh, Cedarwood House Studios. And that was a really great experience uh, getting to do that. It was right around the time that I was recording for that that I was at the point where I was actually starting to get out and play shows pretty much on a, on a national scale. Um, I had gotten a job where I was working from home and since I was working from home, I could kind of work anywhere on the road. And so I kind of took that as an opportunity to where I would work during the day um, and then I would try to play shows at night. Um, and so this pattern kind of continued from 2013 till about 2016, where that three-year period, I was just going from hotel to hotel while working my job um, from home. And then also that night playing a show after I was done working or driving. Um, doing that for a few years really, really burnt me out. Um, it really took a toll on me. Um, I started having some other issues come up with some family issues at the time that were very, very traumatic. And I just slowly started to see things and ramble and pan and my life and my songwriting just kind of start to unravel in front of me. Um, and so what ended up happening was I ended up finishing my full length record in 2016, um, going on tour for a West Coast tour, and then eventually about sometime in the middle of 2016, almost 2017, I decided to take a break from Ramblin' Pan and from music 
Um, and I thought that it was pretty much just going to be indefinite after that. Um, I had lost my passion to keep playing. I was just so burnt out from being on the road and also working a full-time job and just going through all these traumatic experiences that were happening with my family at the time. And it just really wore me down. Um, and so I did end up quitting after that. Thank you so much for listening to part two of my musical songwriting journey. Um, I really do appreciate it. Stick around. There's going to be another third video, which will take you through the journey of my hiatus and then eventually coming back to songwriting again and relaunching my music. Hit that subscribe button to keep following me on my journey.